Hey everyone, welcome back to The Daily Dose. This week we are talking about God's boundless love and life that God wants for us. And so today we're going to be talking about, well, what is it that God wants from us anyway? So way back when, when the disciples met Jesus, we hear all the stories about how they joined in with what Jesus was doing. In fact, it didn't take long for them to drop their nets and follow him. And so what was it about Jesus that was getting all of these people excited, getting all of these people to follow him and see what this God was all about? What was it? Well, I have a little story for you. Uh, here's the thing. I've got toddlers in my house, and my toddlers have been very susceptible to ear infections. Any other ear infection kids out there? Well, my youngest especially hates medicine. When you know that when your kid gets an ear infection, you gotta get the little syringe with the medicine, it goes in the fridge, and you gotta do it like two times a day, it's a whole mess. Well, there was one day where my son, Pax, he's my youngest, had an ear infection and he was super cranky. And he just kept saying, no, 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 to everything that I put in front of him. Well, it came around time for bedtime. It was time for that dreaded medicine. And as soon as I went to the fridge and pulled out the bottle and I got that little syringe, I heard him take off. He's two years old, so he's faster than me now. It didn't take long. And he ran away from me screaming, no, no, no. So of course, as any mom would, I chase after him. I chase after him and in my head, I'm saying, yes, you gotta do it. It's the best thing for you. Well, he didn't wanna take it. He's wrestling and trying to get away from me. And eventually I did what all parents dread, but they gotta do. I had to hold him down. I'm holding his squirming little body as he's screaming at me, no, 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 mom, no, no, no. And I so lovingly take the syringe and I shove it in his mouth. And he takes his medicine and he gets up and he's okay and he waddles away and we get ready for bed. And I sit there thinking, this is kind of what we think our faith is like. Like it's something like we gotta shove it into our lives, make it fit into what we've got going on. If faith could just fit in to what I'm doing, well, it could be life-changing, right? Well, here's the thing about faith. Faith isn't something that we shove into our lives, that we make fit into what we've got going on, our plans for our lives, no. What Jesus was calling the disciples to do and why they eagerly left their nets is because they knew that faith isn't something we shove into our lives, but it's something we join into. It's not something we take and put in place in us. It is we who put ourselves into faith, into God's plan, into God's kingdom joining in to God's mission. And so when the disciples dropped their net, they were joining in to something bigger and they knew it. And so today I wonder with you, where is God calling you in your life? What's the mission you see? Where is God moving around you? In your home, in your community, in your church? When you look around and you see the goodness of God, where is it? And how can you join in? Would you wonder about that this week with me? I hope you tune in for the rest of the daily doses this week. It's been so fun chatting with you. Take care.